Hello and welcome to Sigma Excel Video Tutorials. This is part 3 of the Introduction to Control Chart Template series. In this video, we'll be looking at the average run length calculators in Sigma Excel. Average run length, or ARL characteristics, are very useful to compare the performance of control charts and determine optimal parameter settings for EWMA and QSUM time weighted control charts. The ARL value for a shift in mean equal to zero sigma is the in-control average run length and is denoted as ARL0. ARL0 is 1 over alpha, where alpha is the type 1 false alarm probability, so this should be as large as possible, minimizing the likelihood that an out-of-control signal is a false alarm. In a Schuhart individual's control chart, ARL0 is equal to 370.4. On average, we'll see a false alarm once every 370 observations. Note that this is a mean of a geometric distribution, so in practice, the actual ARL0 will vary widely with the standard deviation approximately equal to the mean value. When we have a sustained shift in mean greater than zero, the ARL value is the out of control run length and is denoted as ARL1. ARL1 is equal to one over one minus beta where beta is the type 2 miss probability, and 1 minus beta is the power to detect. This should be as small as possible, so that a shift in process mean is quickly detected. The calculations for ARL are quite complex, involving either exact Markov chain approximation or Monte Carlo simulation to solve. The Sigma Excel ARL templates take care of these calculations and are easy to use. Schuhart charts are typically used when trying to rapidly detect a large shift in mean of greater than or equal to 3 sigma. Tests for special causes may be used with Schuhart to improve the small shift performance, but they give a poor ARL0 performance resulting in frequent false alarms. To begin, I'll be demonstrating the Schuhart ARL calculator in Sigma Excel. Click Sigma Excel, Control Charts, Control Chart Templates, Average Run Length Calculators, Schuhart ARL. The default template settings are specify equals exact, test one only, subgroup size equals one, skewness and kurtosis equals zero, which is a normal distribution. All ARL calculations for Schuhart use a standardized in control mean of zero and sigma equals one. Click the calculate Schuhart ARL button to produce the ARL table and chart. As mentioned earlier, the ARL0 in control ARL with zero shift in mean for the Schuhart chart is 370.4. The ARL1 for a small one sigma shift in mean is 43.89, so is slow to detect. On the other hand, a large three sigma shift in mean has an ARL equals 2.0, so is detected rapidly. Next we will consider Schuhart X-bar charts. Subgroups improve the small shift performance of a Schuhart chart without impacting the ARL0 rate, and if possible should be used. The ARL for subgroup averages is adjusted by using the sigma of averages, sigma divided by the square root of n. For example, with a subgroup size of 4, the ARL1 values at a shift in mean equal to 1 will match the ARL performance of an individual's chart with shift in mean equal to 2 sigma. We will now assess ARL for a Schuhart X-bar chart. Select specify equals exact, test one only, and enter subgroup size equals four. Skewness and kurtosis equals zero, which is a normal distribution. Click the calculate Schuhart ARL button. The ARL zero for the Schuhart X-bar chart is the same as the individual's chart, which has an ARL zero of 370.4. The ARL one for a small one sigma shift in mean is 6.3, so is much more rapid to detect than the individual's ARL1 of 43.89. So if possible, subgrouping should always be used. Now we'll assess robustness to non-normality. This can be considered by using the Pearson family to specify any value of skewness and kurtosis and estimate the ARLs. Coming back to the Schuhart ARL calculator, enter specify equals exact, test one only. Subgroup size equals one, Skewness equals two, kurtosis equals six. Here we're specifying a severe degree of skewness. Skewness equals 0 0.5 is mild, one is moderate, two is severe, and over two is very severe. The Pearson family is used to create a distribution that matches the specified skewness and kurtosis. 
Skewness of 2 and kurtosis of 6 corresponds to an exponential distribution. Click the Calculate Schuhard ARL button. ARL0 with these settings is 54.6. This is a very poor performance with a 6.8 times increase in false alarms compared to normal data. The Schuhart individuals chart is not robust to severe skewness. A Boxcox transformation or other individuals non-normal chart should be used if subgrouping is not possible. Next I'll assess robustness to non-normality for our Schuhart X-bar chart. Enter subgroup size equals 4. Click the Calculate Schuhart ARL button to produce the ARL table and chart. ARL0 with these settings is 96.75. This is an improvement over the individual's 54.6, but it's still a 3.8 times increase in false alarms compared to the 370.4 with normal data. Next we'll consider Monte Carlo simulation. If Monte Carlo simulation is used, additional run length standard deviation and percentile statistics are reported. Monte Carlo results will take some time and vary slightly every time they are run. Now we'll look at the Schuhart ARL calculator for normal data using Monte Carlo. Enter specify equals Monte Carlo, subgroup size equals 1, skewness and kurtosis equals 0, which is a normal distribution. Number of replications equals 10,000 and test 2 to test 8 are not applicable. Click the Calculate Schuhart ARL button to produce the Monte Carlo approximate chart and tables. The additional run length statistics show the large variation of run length values. The in control run length for the first percentile is 4, and the 99th percentile is 1694. The in control median run length, MRL0, is 254. Note that the results will vary slightly every time the calculators run, since this is a Monte Carlo simulation. Now I'll use the Monte Carlo simulation to assess the Schuhart individuals chart with all eight Sigma Excel default tests for special causes applied. Test 1 is always applied. Test 2 equals 9. Test 3 equals 6. Test 4 equals 14. Test 5 equals 2 out of 3. Test 6 equals 4 out of 5. Test 7 equals 15. And Test 8 equals 8. Click the Calculate Schuhart ARL button to produce the Monte Carlo approximate run length tables. ARL0 with all 8 tests for special causes is approximately 87.9. This is a poor performance with a 4.2 times increase in false alarms compared to test 1 only. MRL0 is approximately 61. On the other hand, ARL1 for a small 1 sigma shift in mean is approximately 9.7, so small shifts can be detected quickly. However, due to the poor false alarm rate performance for rapid detection of small shifts, we recommend using subgrouping but if subgrouping is not possible, EWMA or QSUM should be used. Now I'll demonstrate the exponentially weighted moving average run length calculator. When using EWMA or QSUM charts, we typically set the parameters to minimize the ARL1 to give rapid detection for a small shift in mean of one sigma. To open the EWMA ARL template, click Sigma Excel, Control Charts, Control Chart Templates, Average Run Length ARL Calculators, EWMA ARL. The default template settings are specify equals weight and k. Lambda is 0.1, k is 2.7. Type of limits is time varying, and the method is Markov chain. The weight parameter is a value between 0 and 1 and controls the amount of influence that previous observations have on the current EWMA statistic. A value near 1 puts almost all weight on the current observation, making it resemble a Schuhart chart. For values near 0, a small weight is applied to almost all the past observations, so the EWMA chart performance is similar to that of a QSUM chart. The K sigma multiplier is a value typically between 2 and 4. The EWMA control chart template has hard-coded the type of limit as time varying, since they improve the sensitivity of the EWMA to detect early changes in the process mean. Fixed is included as an option here for comparison of ARL results to textbook examples. The Markov chain approximation is fast and accurate to compute ARLs. The alternative, Monte Carlo, allows you to assess robustness to non-normality and also produces the table of run length standard deviation and percentiles. Click the Calculate EWMA ARL button to produce the ARL table and chart. The ARL0 
in control ARL with zero shift and mean. For the EWMA chart with these settings is 356.1, which is close to the Schuhart ARL zero of 370.4. The ARL one for a small one sigma shift and mean is 7.54, so is much faster to detect than the ARL one of 43.89 for Schuhart individuals, and also faster to detect than the ARL one of 9.7 for the Schuhart individuals with eight tests for special causes. Now we'll specify a weight of 0.1 with the Schuhart ARL zero value of 370.4 and solve for the K. Change specify to weight and ARL zero. Click the calculate EWMA ARL button to produce the updated EWMA parameters, ARL table and chart. The ARL zero for the EWMA chart with these settings is 370.4 as specified. The K or sigma multiplier solved to obtain this ARL zero value is 2.7146. The ARL1 for a small one sigma shift in mean is 7.62. This can be repeated for any in control average run length of interest. For example, 500 is used in some textbooks. Now we'll use Monte Carlo simulation to obtain approximate run length standard deviation and percentiles. Select specify equals weight and k with a weight of 0.1. And set the method to Monte Carlo with the number of replications equal to 10,000. Set skewness and kurtosis to zero for a normal distribution. Click the Calculate EWMA ARL button. The additional run length statistics show the large variation of run length values with the in-control ARL zero standard deviation of 361, the in-control median run length or MRL zero of 249, first percentile of 2, and 99th percentile of 1,671. We will now assess robustness to non-normality using Monte Carlo simulation with a weight of 0.1 and a specified ARL0 of 370.4 for comparison to Schuhart. Change specify to weight and ARL0 with a weight of 0.1 in control ARL of 370.4. Set skewness to two and kurtosis to six, which is an exponential distribution. Click the calculate EWMA ARL button. The K sigma multiplier has been solved as 2.7146 as we previously saw. However, the ARL zero is now 266.2 due to the non-normal data, which is a 1.4 times increase in false alarms compared to normal, but is a much better performance than the ARL0 equals 55 result for Schuhart individuals. MRL0 is approximately 180. Now I'll demonstrate average run length for cumulative sum. Click Sigma Excel, Control Charts, Control Chart Templates, Average Run Length Calculators, QSUM ARL. The default template settings are specify equals k and h, k parameter equals 0.5, h parameter equals 5, fast initial response FIR equals 0, and the method equals Markov chain. The QSUM parameter k is a reference or slack value, typically set to 0.5. It sets the size of mean shift 2k sigma that you would like to detect quickly so 0.5 denotes rapid detection of a shift in mean equal to one sigma. Parameter H is the decision interval, typically set to four or five. FIR sets the initial QSUM statistic so that it improves sensitivity to a mean shift at startup. Markov chain approximation is fast and accurate to compute ARLs. Monte Carlo simulation allows you to assess robustness to non-normality and also produces the table of run length standard deviation and percentiles. The mean and standard deviation are also assumed to be known. All ARL calculations for QSUM use a standardized in-control mean of zero and sigma of one. Click the Calculate QSUM ARL button to produce the ARL table and chart. The ARL zero in-control ARL with the zero shift in mean for QSUM chart with these settings is 465.44. The ARL one for a small one sigma shift in mean is 10.38.
Now we'll evaluate QSum with the same parameters but use the fast initial response option, FIR equals H over 2. Click the Calculate QSum ARL button to produce the ARL table and chart. The ARL0 for the QSum chart with these settings is 430.39, which is slightly lower than the FIR equals 0 setting, so slightly higher false alarm rate. The ARL1 for a small 1 sigma shift in mean is 6.35, which is faster than the 10.38 for FIR equals zero. Now we'll specify the QSUM K parameter equal to 0.5 with a Schuhart ARL zero of 370.4 and solve for the H parameter. Select specify equals K and ARL zero and set FIR to zero. Click the calculate QSUM ARL button. The ARL0 for the QSUM chart with these settings is 370.4 as specified. The H parameter solved to obtain this ARL0 value is 4.7749. The ARL1 for a small 1 sigma shift in mean is 9.93, so is much faster to detect than the ARL1 of 43.89 for Schuhart individuals and close to the ARL1 9.7 for Schuhart individuals with 8 tests for special causes. As an alternative to using the QSUM to rapidly detect small shifts in mean, Woodall and Fulton recommend larger K values to avoid false alarms and detect shifts of practical significance. Enter specify equals K and H with a K parameter of 0.9 and H parameter of 4.65. Click the Calculate QSUM ARL button. This gives large ARL values for a shift in mean of less than or equal to 1 sigma, and small ARL values for a shift in mean greater than or equal to 1.5 sigma. So this can be quite useful to detect shifts of practical significance. We will now assess robustness to non-normality using Monte Carlo simulation and compare it to Schuhart and EWMA charts. Change specify to K and ARL 0, K parameter to 0 0.5, and method to Monte Carlo with a skewness of 2 and kurtosis of 6. Click the Calculate QSUM ARL button. ARL0 is approximately 160.54, which is a 2.3 times increase in false alarms compared to normal, but is a much better performance than the ARL0 equal to 54.6 result to Schuhart individuals. It is less robust in non-normality than the EWMA chart with a weight of 0.1 which had an ARL0 of 266.21. With a standard deviation of 159.45, MRL0 is approximately 112, with an in-control first percentile of 3, and an in-control 99th percentile of 748. In conclusion, you can use either EWMA or QSUM to improve the sensitivity of the control chart to detect small shifts in the process mean while maintaining a low false alarm rate. EWMA has a slight advantage in that it is more robust to non-normality than QSUM, but the choice is often a personal preference made by the practitioner. This concludes part three of the Introduction to Control Chart Templates video series. For more videos, visit us at www.sigmaxl.com or join us on YouTube. Thanks for watching.